Well, we're all familiar with the song lyric, the stars at night are big and bright. It's hard not to sing it. Mm -hmm. It's a true statement, though, especially here in West Texas. You wanted to sing it, but what you might not know, there is a reason behind that in some parts of West Texas. News West Nine's Jolena Okazaki explains why. That's right, there's seven counties in West Texas where you could just look up at the sky and it's super clear at night. Now there's a scientific explanation to why this is happening in that specific region. So here's a look in this special report of the stars at night. You should be thanking your lucky stars if you're ever in this part of Texas, specifically in Jeff Davis County. Spaced out in a remote location right on top of the mountains, that's where the McDonald Observatory sits, 30 degrees north of the equator and 6,800 feet above sea level. The skies here get so dark at night that the observatory gets so many visitors from out of town, people who come here for their star parties and have the opportunity to stargaze. And once your eyes adjust, the sight becomes unreal. You can start to see the galaxies, star clusters, even the Milky Way. But why should you come here to see the skies as opposed to any other part of town? You know, it, it's incumbent upon us as a, a scientific institution to not just say, oh, our sky's getting brighter over, over toward the Permian. Bill Wren is the special assistant to the superintendent at the McDonald Observatory. Astronomers here are continuously researching about the skies. One thing that they're trying to find the answer to is dark energy. And if you don't know what dark energy is, well, don't worry, because astronomers here are still trying to figure out what it is, too. Not only is the universe expanding, which we've known since Edwin Hubble's time in the 1920s, but we found that the universe, the expansion of the universe is accelerating. It's going faster and faster and faster. And that was a complete surprise to everybody. We call it dark energy, energy because it's accelerating and dark because we don't have a clue as to why. It's been in constant use for 80 years. One of the ways astronomers conduct their research is through some of the most remarkable telescopes you'll ever see. But to study dark energy, we take a look at one of the world's largest telescopes. Well, it allows you to point in different directions in the sky. The Hobby Everly Telescope used to measure the rotation of galaxies. The largest telescope in North America to study galaxies out toward the edge of the observable universe some 12 to 13 billion light years away to, to see if the expansion rate has changed over different epochs in time. So now that you know why dark energy is an important factor here at the observatory, you should also know the process it took to get cities, counties, businesses, especially oil and gas companies, to follow suit to keep the dark skies of West Texas dark. The brightest source of light pollution in our sky for the longest time was coming from El Paso, which is El Paso Juarez, about 165 miles that way. Now the sky down low to the horizon to the north in the direction of the Permian Basin is starting to glow. It's not interfering with observations that we make high overhead. The McDonald Observatory is surrounded by seven counties, all of which help out their mission to keep the dark skies of West Texas as dark as possible. So how exactly do they do it? The idea is simple. Simply keep your own light on your own property. About 28,000 square miles are those surrounding counties. They were given special permission by the state legislature to enact outdoor lighting ordinances back in 1978. Those ordinances were to protect the dark skies for astronomical research for the observatory. And of course, Jeff Davis County was the first to adopt. And then in 2011, former Governor Rick Perry signed House Bill 2857 to instruct those seven counties to adopt the ordinance. And that's why today, Several oil and gas companies have updated their work sites to cut down on light pollution. Instead of shining their work lights up, now those lights are fixed downward. Companies like uh, Apache Corporation, Pioneer Energy Services, Semerex, and there, there are others, uh, too many for me to remember right now, that, that have uh, taken our recommendations to heart and adopted good lighting practices. and. And uh, we couldn't be happier, because, and they couldn't be happier. That's the joy of it, is it really is better lighting for the industry. They can see better. It's cost effective, better visibility, increased worker safety, and oh, by the way, it helps keep the skies dark overhead for the observatory. So it's a win-win situation. With more oil activity, it's no surprise that there is concern for the future of dark energy research. 
However, as long as West Texans continue to be friendly partners to help the observatory, you can see it here for yourself that the Texas stars can't shine without darkness. In Jeff Davis County, Jolino Kazaki, News West 9.